Hello guys, Carolina Gurries, Teresa here. Hello everyone. I'm here today. I just like to today I'm gonna to be making a a candy corn wreath again, a different kind from the one I made in the past. I'm just trying to get through with some of my fall and Halloween here. A few more I'd like to do because they go in my store and I wanna thank God I'm making some sales. I'm just a small shop, but every little bit helps me so i thank him for that and i thank you the couple on there that's bought a few for me i mean it <laughs> thank you first of all too, let me welcome everybody welcome subscribers my friends my faithful ones welcome newbies if you're just stopping on me by chance or just welcome i hope you come back and if you don't like this one today i have more videos you may like you never know you may like one so if you do, please maybe share, like, maybe subscribe. I have a month of giveaway each month, and the rules are always listed down below my descriptions in each tutorial. So today, I'm just going to share this with you as we work together and make this trick-or-treat candy corn wreath. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to be doing a poof with cruffles method, and I think a lot of y'all are familiar with that, especially the regulars, faithful ones, if you're new. Okay, so I hope you like this one. So I'm using 21 inch black deco mesh. Just a, it's just a, it's just a poly deco mesh. And I always pretty much use all this kind of mesh because I just like it. And I am a craft outlet girl, if anybody don't know. Um, I get most of my supplies, pretty much 95% of it from there. Pretty good site. Okay, you might want to check it out sometimes. It gets a lot of things on clearance sometimes. I shop seasonal, so that's when you get a really lot of, or off season, you get a really lot of things on sale. And plus, if you shop over $69, you get free ship, which ain't bad, because you can spend probably 25 or more in a Dollar Tree sometimes at one time, and then it adds up, so it's a pretty good deal. Okay, so, all right. Then you need your 14-inch Dollar Tree frame. Everybody knows I'm faithful to these. Okay, so with the poof method, we're using our 15 pipe cleaners, which I've already placed on. If you're a first timer and don't know how to place your pipe cleaners for just a regular poof method, I have a tutorial on it. So your 15 pipe cleaners, okay? And then for my cruffles, I've chose this kind of mesh. I've already got a few made up. This is also like a decor um, poly mesh, craft outlet. I've also made me some up a few pre-made. And I will tell you this right quick. I have a tutorial I just put on the other day if you hadn't seen it. I made these cruffles from 21 inch mesh. So I made it to, to cut it for 10 inch mesh because I was out of 10 inch mesh like this. So this is gonna work just great, okay? And then of course you're gonna need a couple, well I'm sorry, a couple zip ties to tie your um, hoofs down in place. A couple extra pipe cleaners for your sign um, let's see. And here is her sign, speaking of it. We go with candy corn. Now, I don't like candy corn. <sighs> I'm sorry. But she does look tasty, doesn't she? <laughs> Big old candy corn sign. I'm going to use her. Okay? And I also picked this up to add a little thing to my wreath. I try to make my wreaths from my heart. I don't know. If you ever go to my store, guys, I am a little unique. I just... I try to do things maybe just a little different, add a little touch or two of something. But anyway, I, I found this candy corn garland here at Dollar Tree. Now we do have a $3 and $5 aisle, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do where you're at, especially the big places and all. That's just a great option. You get to give a little more, but you got, they got some good stuff. So I'll probably take this little garland here and cut off my pieces from my decor, okay? And then last of all, my ribbon. I chose these two ribbon here. The candy corn print and the orange polka. I like a little polka with my candy. Okay. And then on these here, I can't decide. I have trouble deciding with ribbon, guys. Are y'all like that? It's just, there's so many pretty prints. So I did choose these three. I chose me a big orange and black polka and then this polka an orange 
and a little bit of this. So where I didn't have a lot of this, I'm probably going to run out. I'm probably just going to mix and match these three here. So, like I've always told everybody too, guys, it's your wreath. You make it how you want, okay? All right, so thank you again for joining me today. I'm feeling good today. I hope everybody else is. I just woke up in a mood today, just thanking God for the day. Walked outside, it's in the 70s. <laughs> I know probably a lot of y'all up north are experiencing more cool weather. But I'm just thankful, you know. Just thankful and thankful for you guys. You guys that, have, that by chance on YouTube have found me and I've become acquainted with you all. I mean, I might be weird, guys, but, you know, this, this means something to me. So, okay, let me grab a glass of water. By the way, I got me a... Y'all know I like chickens if you've watched my tutorials. Got my chicken cup here. I love her. So, let me get me some fresh water in her now, and I'll be right back, and we will get started. All right. Okay, when we start with our um, poop method, you just want to find you a place in your wreath. Anywhere. And take your 21 inch mesh and let's see here. Let me get you here. We can just gonna take the end and anybody that hadn't done a poof, just uh crumble up your or what's the word I'm looking at? Then forgot the word, guys. Uh oh, what's that word, guys? I'm doing right here. <laughs> Shuffling or I can't believe it, guys. See there, I told you I'm another year, year older. I'm already forgetting more. Anyway, you just want to ruffle that all up together like that on the end of your 21-inch mask. And I always try to like clean mine up here a little bit where some of the edges are straggly. Oh, it was scrunching a while ago. Scrunch. I also need some new scissors. I broke a pair the other day, and I ain't got me none yet, but... Okay, just want to take it, place it anywhere on your wreath form. Just going to lay it in front of the pipe cleaner here. And I'm going to go on one of the wires. I'm just going to use one. Take my zip tie. Now, you can use a pipe cleaner. It's fine. But I always do the zip ties. It just does seem to secure it down in more. Okay, just like that. So I'm here, get it to working. Where's my... Okay. Now we're gonna start making our poos. So you just wanna take any mesh, measure out 10 meshes, anybody new? Measure out 10 inches here. Get up in your hands like this. Try to keep it straight if you can, the best you can. And the ends, the outside edges folded under. And just come and measure your 10 inch poofs. Okay, like that. Give me a little poof. Come twist. Okay, go on to the next one. I know y'all guys hear me complain about my thumb area a lot and all and everything, but y'all don't see me on camera. It really does hurt. It, it gives me a lot of aggravation. I've just taken some Advil while I'm going on to help me get through some of these wreaths, and I don't mean to be like a complainer on that, but if you've ever had like a area like that, you know, those little things you do take for granted. Cause I need my thumb <laughs> to make my breeze and all. I'm getting where I can't really grip things around the house. And, but that's another story for later, guys, because I'm probably looking at in the future getting something done about it. I had my right one done about five years ago, and I tell you, it's 
I've had a lot of surgeries in my life. Each time, though, I'm still scared. But it helped my it helped me tremendously. If you don't mind me just right here showing you, it helped me tremendously. They went in there, believe it or not, right quick. My doctor, um, Doctor Skeet, Dolly Skeet, she's a lady. Had, praise God to the woman that doctor took care of my hand and God. She went in there and cut my arthritis, scraped it all out of this area, pulled something down from my arm here. I forget what. You have to Google it. Fixed it all up. Now, I feel like I got a rock here, but, man, this hand is better than ever. I mean, no pain, nothing whatsoever, this and that. So, I give God the glory for that, what they can do today, some of the stuff. So, here we go, guys. There's our three poos. Anybody know? There you go. Simple as that. And now you can either go back now and do this, or once you're finished, you just want to go back in there and you want to put your hand up under the ends, poof them out, where you got a big old looking poof. This is a really, I love the poof method too because the fact that you don't do no cutting in it, and if you mess up, you can always go back and take it out. And redo. I hate to redo anything, but I've had to. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Here we go. Three big old poofs now, okay? That's the base of our poof reef for today. Okay, I'm going to get these all done like and all. And as usual, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm coming up on the Outer two rings, I'm fixing to go to the inner. So all I want to do when I get back to where I started, just take you 10 inches, and you want to go up into the center, into the center, and the first pipe plumber you come to, bring it down in front of that one. Okay? That's all you simply want to do when you get back around to going to your center. And then continue on the inside, just like you've done the outside. Okay? There again, you're going to have a total of 15 poofs. Okay. You notice this time, too, and I know you guys probably know this. I've used the orange pipe plumes with the black so that I can see them when I go back to find them. I've missed it before and used the same color and it was hard for me to find them. But so I think everybody knows that helps a lot when you use a different pipe cleaner to, to go in there and find it. Okay. Six poofs on the inside and nine on the outside. And my friend Maisie, dear honey, if you're watching, you're faithful to me, honey, my friend. I'm getting so much better on my math. <laughs> I think I am. But there again, I may mess up one day and add wrong. And I'd just like to say again, guys, if it's okay, my store, I'm just a small one. So anybody new out here would like to stop by at it, you just simply want to go to um, eBay and where it says Advanced Search. Type in Teresa's Treasures 2010. And uh, it should bring you to my store. And the name of my store is Teresa's Unique and Affordable Reese. And I do offer free shipping, which is a plus. Excuse me, some people don't, but, and I would appreciate sometimes if you would check me out. And the Christmas ones, I've got a bunch behind me here I already have ready to put on there sometime soon. Um, which I want to get and start making some too. I told you guys this week I plan on it. Get them done. 
they might be some on there you like somebody I try to be affordable I truly do I know that I'm not a pro um, I've had this little shop for quite a while God has truly blessed me with it I try to be affordable but also need to make a little bit of money <laughs> but every little bit I'm thankful for so if you anybody interested you know I appreciate if you do that just go check it out and see Oh, arm's getting tired. Okay, so I'm back to the, there we go, I'm back, I'm back to the beginning. So we're on the last thing here, my last pipe cleaner. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on going, guys. <laughs> Black's getting to me, okay. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna cut it off where I've ended. That's what your other zip tie's for. And you can use a pipe cleaner, but I just always do zip ties. I like to make sure that it's not going to come off at either end, especially when I sell one. So, I'm just going to take it where I cut it off there and put it down in between the rings, mesh it down in be Come on now. Okay, and just take it, zip tie it in there. <laughs> Come on, Teresa, honey. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's hang in here. Okay. There we go. Now. So she's all set, guys. See, and all you got to do now is go back and finish poofing at all your curls, all your poofs, inside and out. She does make a really full wreath of this kind. Want to continue doing on that, okay? Go around and fluff them out together. Let me fluff them all out. Alrighty, so I'll be back with all the fluffing, okay? Okay, y'all, so she's all fluffed out and ready to go now and ready for the cruffles, okay? There we go. Okay, now the cruffles that I already had made up, you know, I told you that I'd cut them from 21 inch mesh. And please leave my tutorial on if you hadn't. Because it's a great idea for if you're out of 10 inch mesh. I've done it before on a wreath and run out of my 10 inch for my curls or ruffles or cruffles. <laughs> so I've made some for 21 inch mesh. It's really neat and simple, so check that out, okay? So if you haven't done a cruffle though, I will show you right quick this. Um, all we're going to do here, and this is a piece I had ready to make for my 21 inch. I'll just go ahead and get it ready for the cruffle. And you can view out, you can look at my tutorial if you don't mind. Okay, to see how I've done this. But I'm just gonna do the cruffle part for you right now if you've never done a cruffle. You just wanna lay down your mesh, take it each end, turn it up. And I love the cruffle part because it gets rid of the fraying. Okay, clip that baby there, turn it back around, and the same thing, but now this end, we are not going to want to clip it, okay, we're just going to leave it without a clip, and just fingers and thumbs in the center, with your fingers up here, scratching it towards you, pulling it towards you, meeting the other one. And making that cruffle. So cruffle, you know, as we know it, is a cruffle and a ruffle. So this was this piece, guys, was cut from 21-inch mesh. So 
please check out that tutorial. I would appreciate it. It's just a simple, like, probably five minutes long. I'm, thank you for that. Okay, so we're just going to put our cruffle in. I'm going to start. Usually I just work myself in the middle, middle out. Place her anywhere. Couple of twists. And there's your cruffle. Now the ones I have already made here, you can you can pre-make your cruffles, guys, if you want. It's okay. I've done this. It's helped me a lot. But the only thing, like, okay, where I'm going to go, where I've got to secure this pipe cleaner, all I'm going to simply do, go to where you're going to put your other one, and I'm still going to go into my my orange pipe cleaner. Okay. I'm finding if I make up things more, it does help ahead of time. Just take that pipe cleaner that you had in your wreath for the cruffle. A few twists. Now your black one where I had it pre-made, it's still on there. I may give it a few clips off, but I'm not going to cut it real short because I may need that for my ribbon. So that's an idea if you want to pre-make cruffles. Okay? It'd be easier just to grab them and sort them on there. Okay, so I'm going to put one more in. Using my pot cleaner that was in my hoof. Okay. Saving some of my black one in case I do need it. But there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna finish these crusts here. Okay. Get them done for you guys, and we'll be back. Okay. So thank you all again today for being with me. All right. Got all our cruffles in finally. All our cruffles are in. She's making a pretty full wreath. Now we're going to do the bows. Okay. And I had a hard trouble deciding, so remember that. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to mix and match, guys. Probably. I chose. Let's see. I was wanting to do. Kind of the candy corn and this polka dot here in the center. Um, okay, I've got plenty of it, so I'm going to work with the other ones on the outside too. So I'm going to start these just adding a couple in, all right, to the center. I always work the center out, I don't know why. Anybody new, it's ducktail time. <laughs> okay, you just want to take your ribbon. And they're all 20 up 12 inches long. Fold in half, half again. And the way I was taught, the wire edge is facing me, and I just want to cut into the folded side, the crease, in a slanted angle. Okay? So all I want to do is cut from your wire edge to the crease. Really, really simple, guys. Okay? So here we go with that. I'm going to add a few here to the center. Okay, so that works just great with the pipe cleaners I already had in the wreath. Now the pipe cleaners I had on my wreath, I mean, the ones I had on my cruffles parade, I can go ahead and just disregard them if I want to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be adding anything else to those. But if you pre-make any, that's totally up to you. You do how you want there. You can leave you some. If you want to add some extra decor, whatever, okay? But I'm going to take my pipe cleaner here that was on the wreath already and wrap it around the back of my ribbon and just spread them out. I'm hoping some of these will show under the big sign. Sometimes that's, well, sometimes it's hard to get them, especially when you have a big sign, but too, you know, if you ever want to change signs and all, have you some ribbon in place, because if you don't, you're going to have a hole there, okay? So there we go, that one, you can see that one. And we're going to continue around, make a couple, all these in the center is going to be the same, same kind of pair. Yeah, 
I'm excited about doing my Christmas wreaths too. I want to really show you some Christmas wreaths. I've it's hard to believe, guys, really, that, I mean, God's given us another day. I mean, if we see tomorrow, what, I mean, man, it's, well, I guess maybe because I'm getting older. Sometimes when I was young, I never noticed time. But I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> All righty, so there we go. So I'm gonna finish all my ribbons, okay? And you can use the same kind, you can mix and match like I'm doing, guys, but you're gonna need a total of 15 pair, okay? So let me get the ribbons on, and we'll be ready for the sign. I'm sorry, guys, the camera just went off. I guess it's time for a new battery or something. It's always something, seems like. Anyhow, I'm sorry about that. Just went off in the middle of putting the sign on. I didn't even do nothing to it. <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy, ain't it? <laughs> okay, okay. So here she is, the best I can show you. Until she's on my board, y'all know that. Okay, look at her there. She does look yummy, but then again, don't like candy corn. So who's with me on that, guys? Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in and flip it all the ribbons from underneath her. Okay, I'll get that done. I'm gonna put it on my door, and we'll be done. Alrighty, be right back. Here she is. Really full. She made a 24 inch wreath. I went ahead and put it on, put on a 10 loop short tailed bow. And if anybody wanted to put a bow on, I'm sorry. I just, I have a tutorial on that, okay? I just put that on at the end. I, I do like bows on my wreaths. So, <laughs> there she is. And I took my garland here, cut off all the little decorns, just glued it on. So there's a big old giant piece of candy corn for anybody for Halloween. I hope you guys like it. Really thank you for staying with me. Um, spending your Saturday with me. Um, I just came out here wanted to do one. Like I said, I'm starting my Christmas ones. I'll probably do one Tuesday at the most, I know. Getting my stuff ready. So I just want to share this one with you today as I do one for my store. Okay, so you go. And just want to close the saying, guys, again. I thank you. Appreciate every one of you. I truly do. I hope you have a rest of a good weekend. I mean that. I hope things go your way. And if you like me and you don't like the candy corn, get yourself a Reese cup. That's my favorite candy. Okay, everyone. To every one of you, you know who you are. I love you all. Thank you again. Until next time, bye-bye.